Hey everybody, Joe here, and today we wanted to take some time to talk to you all about motion detection. Motion detection is an amazing feature that can be used across all of our cameras and recorders. It has tons of benefits, but before we get into those benefits, we wanted to take some time to explain to you how motion detection works. This isn't so much a setup guide as much as it is an explanation of how motion detection is functioning. You probably already know the basic idea behind motion detection is that if something enters a camera's field of view, it triggers a response from your recorder as a motion event. The real question is, how does it do this? Let's take a look. The idea behind it is fairly straightforward. As you may already know, the camera's field of view is divided into pixels. Pixels are the small dots or points on a screen or image that make up the picture together. As a camera takes in a fixed view from any given scene, most of those pixels are going to remain relatively the same. For example, the floor, walls, as well as street signs, poles, and buildings aren't often going to suddenly move. There may be subtle changes such as shadows and lighting over time, but these are slow and gradual. Now, if in that same scene, a car or a person were to walk through, this is a sudden and more chaotic change in the pixels in the scene than, say, daytime slowly turning into nighttime. This sudden change in pixels could be considered a motion event. Additionally, there are two important settings that determine the tipping point at which your recorder and camera consider any event to be a motion event. These settings are referred to as sensitivity and threshold. When you create a region, you can see that it's divided into small subsections like a grid. We can call each grid square an area, which is made up of pixels in the scene. Sensitivity is a setting that represents how much or little change needs to be occurring in an individual area to count that area alone as being in motion. The lower the sensitivity number is set, the more motion or changes in one of these areas are ignored. The higher the number, the more easily it will consider the changes as motion. This brings us to the threshold setting. When you create a region as mentioned before, this is made up of smaller grid squares we call areas. Threshold determines what percentage of the region's total number of areas have to be experiencing motion in order for the camera to consider this a motion event. For example, if your region is 4x4 for a total of 16 areas, and you had your threshold set to 50 or 50%, then it would take at least 8 of the 16 areas, 50% of them, to be experiencing motion in order to count the trigger. Another setting relative to both of these is the anti-dither. Anti-dither is just a timer between 0 and 100 seconds that starts once both the sensitivity and threshold criteria have been met. If you have an anti-dither set to 5 seconds, like it is by default, then five seconds will have to pass before an event that is triggering the sensitivity and threshold settings is considered logged as motion. All three of these settings work together to help you eliminate false alarms. So now we know quite a bit more about how motion detection works and what the settings inside it mean. So what are the benefits of motion detection? First is identifying suspicious activity in the moment. Motion detection is useful for logging changes in a scene so that you can receive a notification on your phone or via email if an event occurs. Next is the ability to more easily find footage later. When motion footage is captured, it is logged in the recorder's playback and export areas by indicating a particular color on the seek bars. Usually this is yellow, which is different from the standard green on normal, non-motion triggered recording. This makes finding that footage later on simpler and faster. Lastly, one of the most sought-after benefits of motion detection is saving recording space. You can have your cameras programmed so that they are only recording if they detect a motion event. This reduces the amount of active time they're recording, thus increasing the amount of days you have on your hard drive. Thanks for joining us today as we talked about motion detection, how it works, and the benefits of using it. For more information on our recorders, cameras, or any of our products that carry motion detection technology, give our sales pros a call at 561-288-5258. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, toss us a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Until next time, everyone, stay safe.